course. Per usual, we're going to start with Steve. He's in the newsroom and has an update really on a troubling story that we've been following out of Northern Virginia. Steve? It's getting a lot of attention now, and it is our local lead at 9 o'clock, still developing this morning, but stemming from several drug overdoses that happened at one Northern Virginia high school, and that has the Virginia governor taking emergency action this morning. Let's get all the details now and what potentially could happen next from Bob Barnett. Bob's outside Parkview High School in Sterling this morning. Bob? Hey, Steve, good morning. Yes, Governor Glenn Youngkin issued his executive order last night after what's been happening here at Parkview High School over the last several weeks. The governor's executive order requires schools to notify parents within 24 hours if there's been a student overdose at the school or in the community to let them know. Also, working with the Virginia Department of Education, uh, requiring better education among the school systems to uh, inform people about the dangers of fentanyl among young people. And also, it uh, encourages law enforcement to work with schools to try to identify the sources of these drugs and also to prevent the overdoses. What's happened here, and we were here yesterday telling you about this, um, there have been now eight student overdoses uh, involving Parkview High School, uh, four of them on campus, the most recent one just Tuesday night. Nobody has died, uh, but uh, these are, have happened over the past three weeks, and we just learned about it this week. And so the governor says he wants more timely notification. Uh, Dr. Aaron Spence, the school superintendent here in Loudoun County, sent out a community letter last night saying, look, there are privacy issues with the students who are overdosing, and that is the reason there was a bit of a delay in letting everybody know. But that uh, the dangers of, of uh, opioids laced with fentanyl has been shared with the school community, the basic knowledge of that, and that uh, four times already this school year, three times here, once at, old, at uh, Dominion High School, Narcan has used in school to revive students. Four times this year, uh, Dr. Spence says it was only four times the entire school year last year that Narcan had to be used. Here now talking about the notification issue is Virginia Attorney General Jason Miares. That gives the parents the freedom to have that conversation with a child and the fact that for multiple weeks they never bothered to tell parents I'm just flabbergasted because I think that's your first rule in a school district is before you even give a child a great education make sure they're safe. Part of that is making sure parents are informed and the lack of information I find astonishing. We can't fix a problem if people don't know about it. Okay, we need, to, we need to make sure that people know about this because we need their help, we need their assistance in identifying where this may be coming from. Uh, you know, any kids that might talk to their parents, anybody that, 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 that they may know that, that could be behind us, we need to have every bit of information we can and we need the public's uh, assistance in order to do that. And if they don't know about it, they can't help us. We need to work together on this. The schools, the parents, the sheriff's office, we all need to work together to put an end to this before we start losing lives out there with these with these young kids. Now, Sheriff Chapman says he has deputies working in the schools trying to identify the sources of these opioids. And, uh, yeah, the warning is, look, if it's not prescribed, don't take it. And, Steve, that one bit of information from the school superintendent here in Loudoun County is rather striking. Uh, Narcan has been used in schools four times already this school year and only four times in all of last school year. So uh, obviously these cases are, you know, we're seeing far too many quickly, early, and especially here at this school this year. Yeah, and a couple of big points to make there, Bob. One, the sheer number of uses as you just documented, and also the fact that parents just want to know what's happening in the schools. They want to be made aware of those situations when they do in fact occur. Bob, thanks very much.